seen any of my work online, uh, on YouTube, okay, that And uh, so we're, we're going to be doing a paint along session. It's called a paint along session form, is that right? Yeah, that's just basically so, where you'll be joining. So um, I've, I've handed out um, eight possible pictures of a, uh, a sea, uh, um, a harbour sea with boats. Um, most of which are UK, some abroad. So we can take some votes on which ones you would like to do. And I've got a, a 3B pencil, quite soft, dark, and we will start with the buildings. It doesn't matter if you're drawing this right now. Let me do this uh, again, that boat there, a bit of a shade of that boat. Then we've got the water's edge, the background hills. horizontal. I have a good idea to break this up with a few boats. a few 
<coughs> excuse me, indicate a few <coughs> windows. And then let's have a figure in there. I start off with a head first, and I do the shoulders, and I try and think now, well, where is this person going? And you know, are they coming towards me away, left, right? So, another figure on the left. It's just a rough sketch with numbers. I don't know whether you can see that, yes. but they would be, you know, just like a bit like painting by numbers. They're the steps that I would go through. So one, the first, after we've done the drawing, the first wash will be, for me, will be over the whole painting, leaving out areas of white or highlighted areas. So we'll do that together. <clears throat> but so those numbers are just like an indication of the steps I'll go through. And then two, when that's dry, two will be the background. And then three will be the building, four will be the boats, five will be the dark shadows, six will be the figures, and then maybe at the very end, a few highlights. Uh, <coughs> Sky. So you, you, you 
can actually do this with me or wait till I've done it if you want, it's up to you. Um, but uh, we're going to keep the sky, let's see. Well, there are some clouds there, but we can keep it quite simple because the sky is not a very big proportion of our overall picture. So uh, my preference would be to just keep that nice and simple, especially for the demonstration. Um, just a play, just a, a, a flat wash there. And we're going to come, we're going to start at the top, come all the way down, um, introducing different colours as we come down. We're going to do the sea, we're going to do the beach. Uh, we're going to paint around, maybe we'll paint around some of the figures. So a bit of negative painting, careful painting around the figures and the bones because they are, they're going to be highlighted. So. So just pick up a little bit of cerulean blue here and my palette which is a little bit dirty from the previous painting exercise. It's got some colour in it. That's maybe just a weak, just a light blue, cerulean blue, cobalt blue, <clears throat> whatever you've got. And mix up enough so that you're not going to run out halfway down. So I'm actually now paying quite a bit of attention to making sure I've got enough in this little well here. And consistency. Um, pardon? Consistency. Um, well, it's fairly, fairly liquidy. Um, not too thick. <laughs> there's, a of, there's a lot of water in it. So, with the, with the biggest brush uh, I have, I will now just lay this over. Do you wet the paper first? No, the paper's not wet. I know some people do wet the paper first, but no, I don't. So. Lay this over. Did you put something in with the cerulean? Uh, no, it's mostly cerulean. Mostly cerulean. I'm just mixing it in a, a well that was dirty from the previous painting, so it's not true cerulean. And. Get a little bit weak as you come down towards the bottom. Well, a bit of, I should add a bit of, um, it could be yellow or a, 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 a Aladdin crimson for the buildings. still wet. <coughs> and that can be part of the road as well. <coughs> so these buildings on the left hand side have got a a base colour. You could choose a yellow or a red, but a bit of warm colour as an undercoat. And painting around carefully these figures. Turquoisey, turquoisey sort of 
greeny, bluey mixture. It's going to be weak at the top and will come a little bit deeper in the middle. And then as we come down to the water's edge, we will um, add in some yellow ochre and a bit of burnt sienna for the sand. So, <clears throat> So I'm using a bit of, again, cerulean blue and a bit of cobalt turquoise um, where you can add in a bit of green if you want to. Paint around this boat in the bay.